Welcome to Click Connect. I'm your host, Craig Sullivan. Today, it is a pleasure to welcome David Bowman, Executive Vice President, New Gen Advisory in the Bowman Post Group. David, let's talk about your listings, not only in working in California, but throughout various states in the continental U.S. What's that like during COVID-19? <laughs> it's a real adventure, let me tell you. Uh, d during the last recession, I, I did a lot of lender work, and the lenders in California yeah. lent on hotels all over the country. So that's when we started to expand to handle different states, and we're still doing that today. Um, I've got a listing in Arkansas, a um, couple in California, working on one in Texas. Uh, there's you know, lots of things going on, and so we just have to be flexible. I have not flown anywhere since the pandemic, but I've probably driven about 3,000 miles visiting various hotels in California. So it's, it's been impressive. You know, the hotel owners and operators have just done a great job, just a great job in making me as a guest feel comfortable. And I think making everybody feel comfortable with the protocols they're following. Right, yeah, I, you know, not only from the brands, but from our trade associations, the state, city, county, you know, there's a lot of overlap, but there's a lot of other things, a lot of hoops everybody's got to jump through. And yeah. you know what? Hotels have never been cleaner than yeah. they are right now. And that's something that's going to continue. Yeah. Um, you know, what's it like opening up a business right now? <laughs> so New Gen Advisory Bowman Post Group is, is a new firm. You know, what's that like? Well, you know, we took a deep breath and jumped in and did this. Um, my my new, new Gen Advisory is the headquarters. They're based in Phoenix. And uh, through Andrew Post, who also worked at Amber Hotel Company with me and his dad, Tim Post, uh, mm -hmm. they got in touch with New Gen Advisory. New Gen Advisory got in touch with us. They wanted to do something pretty dynamic. Uh, in the hotel brokerage space. So we put together a deal. We opened up the Bowman Post Group. We've got offices in Westlake Village now. Um, Andrew Post, uh, you know, he's a superstar. He's he's well organized. He's well liked. Um, he's just great at this business. Uh, it's great to have some young blood. Uh, it's very inspirational to me. And he helps me a lot on the technology side. Uh, because my when I've been doing this 20 years, and when I would respond to an inquiry on a property, I'd send it by fax. He, he, he doesn't even know what a fax is. He thinks it's spelled F-A-C-T-S. So uh, it's a new world, Craig. <laughs> That's funny. But, you know, you don't give yourself enough credit, David. You're well-liked and respected out there. So, hey, tell us about your uh, Bowman Post Group Safe Travel Kit. Well, we wanted every year I, I send out a, a small gift to, to many of my clients. And this year with the COVID, we put together something called a safe travels kit. It's a four zipper bag. It's got uh, wipes. It's got hand sanitizer. It's got masks. It's got tissues. Ah, there it is right there. there it is. Looking good. Um, that's the, that is the safe travels kit. You know, we wanted to do something that encourages people to travel and encourage people to travel safely. And I think anybody that gets a kit, they can throw it in the back seat, wherever, and they have, we think, everything they need to travel safely in case in case something comes up on their trip, in case they forgot their mask or whatever. Um, we did 500 of these. So we have a lot of these going out there, a lot to go out yet. Uh, just happens to have our logo on five different items. Um, I don't know how that, I don't know how that occurs. I love branding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're working hard to, to brand the New Gen Advisory Bowman Post Group out there. And it's got a really great reception. I get a lot of calls from the people that have received them so far. You got one of the first ones and you're yeah, very kind it. to give me a glowing review. I appreciate it. Yeah, when I'm staying, when I'm going out, you know, staying somewhere overnight, it's it's definitely in uh, in my either suitcase or right now, uh, my EDC, my everyday carry is, is very small. I like put everything into a backpack because I may be gone for, you know, 24 to 48 hours. So, yeah. yeah. um, you know, get let's get back to deals a little bit here, David, you mm -hmm. know, you're, you've got listings, you're hopefully working on some closings right now. Your group's closed at least a couple of deals that I'm aware of. Yeah. 
Um, how was that with with buyer, seller, lender, insurance carriers, and brands, and all the other moving pieces? Oh, that's a, how did that? How did you find that these transactions to to be during COVID nineteen? A lot different than it was a year ago. Uh, that's for sure. And partly depends on the area where we're doing the closing. Uh, right now we have 20 listings just in the Midwest alone in half a dozen Midwestern states. There are still lenders out there. Um, they're a lot more conservative than they were a year ago. Down payments are higher. Uh, the threshold is, is higher as well as far as personal financial strength is concerned. Um, but we're, you know, we're still doing deals. There's still buyers, there's still sellers. Uh, especially in the drive-to markets, destination hotels are still in very high demand, especially in California, coastal, um, boutique type properties. So we're, you know, uh, a recent study I saw shows there's, there's twice as much money on the sidelines waiting to buy hotels wow. at this particular time than there was at the beginning of the last recession. But hotels still have a lot of appeal. And, you know, despite what we're going through right now, people are still going to travel Businesses are still going to travel. Uh, it's going to be there, but it's going to take a little while to come back. Savvy investors are, have not abandoned this market. Right. And I, and I think that's it. I mean, not only is it, you know, it, it's got to be about the long haul. And it's not that I'm going to hold on to this for a couple of years, prove the performa, and try and sell it at the height of the market. I mean, we've, we've, we're going to hit a massive reset. Right. Um, you know, talking to various lenders. You know, I, I was having a conversation with one of the guys at, at, at special servicing uh, on the CMBS side. You know, they're just about geared up. They're coming up with their plans. They're executing some of those at this point. I was talking to a, uh, uh, a local community bank, commercial bank, and, you know, they've got everything on the table as long as everybody's being transparent. Yeah. Um, you know, whether it's a modification, an extension, you know, various other other things, you know, and again, you know, the lenders are your partner in this. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got to be transparent with them. you got to let them know what's going on. So, yeah, um, you yeah. know, David's being very humble. You passed out uh, PPE items to hotels up and down the state there for a while. You want to tell us about that a little bit, David? Well, I'm on the board of the California Lodging Industry Association. I'm a past president of that association. And the California uh, Office of Emergency Services had some excess PPE. And our executive vice president, Bobby Singh Allen, went to them and she got them to commit to, to allocating some of that to hotels. So we had, I think it was 11 different drop off sites around California. And we got PPEs at those sites. We distributed that, those PPEs to our, our lodging association members mm -hmm. in those different areas. Um, I set up one at my house. I have a 10 by 20 <laughs> pad on the side of the house, put up a tent. It was just chock full. We did masks, yeah. we did shields, um, we did hand sanitizer, and, and it was great fun. But these hotels, they really need help. That yeah. Not only is yeah. the occupancy down, revenue down, but they have a whole layer of expense they didn't have before. Right. Um, because they're distributing masks, they're extra clean, they're, they're, they're really doing their job. Yeah. Um, but it costs money. Yep, that it does, impact. my friend. Hey, I hate to cut you off, but we are out of time. So, shameless right. plug. How can people get a hold of you, David? And maybe you get a couple of listings. Great. My email is D Bowman, D for David, B for Boy, L W M A N, at newgenadv.com, N E W A D V.com. And then my cell, please call my cell, 818 667 0627. Be happy to talk to anybody. Any questions you want evaluation, we do that on a complimentary basis. We're just trying to do everything we can to help things happen. Perfect. David, thank you for being on the show today. And I'd like to thank our audience for watching this episode of Click Connect. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring the bell for updates. Also, be kind. Share your knowledge. Now go out there and be amazing. <laughs>